Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. My name is Diamond. I am so excited that you're watching this video. I hope that you will leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you like what I'm, my content. <laughs> um, I am just starting out on my channel, so I'm really excited that you're here. I hope that you will, you know, do what I said. That way my videos will be seen by others. Um, so anyway, without further ado, let's get in. I have my Ipsy Glam bag for the month of May 2020, and this bag is adorable. So let's just go ahead and get started. Um, okay, so here's the card. Let's see. And my Ipsy Glam bag, plus they didn't have, yeah. They aren't putting the items in here for some reason. I don't know why. I think it is so helpful when they do. But you can get on Ipsy's website or use your app and look up the product information. I'm not going to be doing that because I use my cell phone to, fo to film, so I can't, you know, exactly. But um, I will just read what the products have on there and we'll do it that way. So, let's go ahead and the first thing I'm picking out is a Farrah brush. It looks like it is a blending brush 25EL and I can't remember if this was an add-on or um, part of my bag because I did get some add-ons but that's cute I like the um, ferrule on it or the I guess the handle sorry it's I have been filming for quite a while <laughs> I've been doing try-ons with all of my videos so my makeup looks a little silly, that's why. Okay, so anyway, um, fair brushes I found are really good, so I'm excited to get one of those. Next in here, we have something from Auto Balm, the Pick Perf, so I guess Picture Perfect Shadows on the Go, and I really do like their little packages. So here's what it looks like. It's St. Charles Avenue, I believe. go just a nice transition shade I would say let's go ahead and swatch this oh I have swatches from my other um, videos so you have to ignore those so here it is right here be a good transition shade like I said or you know if you're doing just like a simple look, you could put this down first and then add some like shimmer over it. That would be pretty. Okay, so the next thing in here is from um, First Aid Beauty. It's Fab Pharma Arnica Relief and Rescue Mask, Soothe and Distress. That's interesting. So it doesn't really tell you much but I do know that this brand is really good for sensitive skin it even says on here safe for sensitive skin dermatologist tested and fragrance free so trying to okay so it is a mask I remember I said that okay so I don't like that when they do that there's no safety seal I just don't feel like it's safe you know I mean that's the point of a safety seal so I'm not going to squeeze any of this out. Well, yeah, I'm sure it will be fine. I'll just do it for the video. So it's got this really pretty blue tint to it. It's really creamy. Does it say how to use it on here? Yeah, apply to clean, clean dry skin, allow to absorb tissue off any excess. Okay, so maybe it's like a moisturizer rescue mask. That's interesting. It's, it's somewhat thick, but it is absorbing nicely. It kind of smells minty or peppermint. Let's see. Moving on. Sorry, I got a little sidetracked. Okay, so the next thing is Yensa color and face skin on skin bb concealer so bp bb plus cc full coverage concealer um, eight super blacks essence um okay on here it's it's in the shade fair cool 
BBCC and Full Coverage Concealer in One, Creaseless Formula, provides flawless coverage, powered by eight Super Blax Essence. Okay. Let's see. So it's got one of those little squeezy tubes. Hmm, where can I swatch this? I'll just go on the other hand. I should have wiped my hand off before I started this video, but I forgot. Okay, so it feels a little bit watery. Oh wow, but that is definitely full coverage. I barely put any on. And that is just spreading everywhere. Wow. I should be able to try this on at the end of the video, so we'll see how it looks on the face. But that is nice. Um, you can still see the veins in the back of my hand, but they're definitely not as pronounced the color-wise. So that's nice. Okay, and I think we have one more thing. Yep. Oh my goodness, it's a little tiny baby sample. I know it's sample sizes, but come on. <laughs> anyway, it's by Tarte. It's the Jelly Glaze Anytime Lip Mask. And it looks like it's part of their C collection. at Strawberry Jelly. Okay, I've got a little safety seal. It makes me happy. Especially when it's like stuff you're going to put around your mouth, especially. Or your eyes. I think it should be like a requirement to have a safety seal. And maybe it is, I don't know. So let's do just a tiny, oh wow. I'm just gonna do a tiny bit because there's not much in here, but I mean, you're still getting tart in your $12 bag, so. Oh, it's thick. And it shears out. Oh, it smells so good. My daughter is setting up a tripod over here. She's going to film too. She loves to film. It's the cutest thing. So there it is. Shared out. Oh, it smells delicious. Okay, so yeah. That is everything I got in my Ipsy Glam Bag. Um, I will have another Ipsy Glam Bag video up, I think, because I get two different um, Glam Bag subscriptions just because I have like a makeup profile and then another profile which is just skincare so I think maybe next uh, month I will do like a um, comparison video or something leave me a comment and let me know if you'd like to see that or if you'd rather just see them done separately or maybe together I don't know we'll see what next month brings anyway so we got this eyeshadow St. Charles Avenue, which, like I said, would be a good transition, or if you're just doing a really simple look. I got this brush. I think this was an add-on, because I got one, two, three, four. I got one, two, three, Honey, can you wait till I'm done with mine, please? So, oh, maybe not. I got one, two, three, four, and this is five. So, yeah, maybe it did come with the bag. I don't know. I'm a mess. Anyway, so... I can't remember if I showed you the bag or not. It's really cute. It kind of reminds me of like a pink lemonade or something. Okay, so anyway, I'm all over the place. We also got this concealer and of course the Tarte um, Jelly Glaze and the Rescue Mask. So um, thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to do the try and portion here in a minute. But I just wanted to remind you to like this video and subscribe and turn on notifications and leave me a comment. And I hope to see you in the next one. So, okay. So let's go ahead and start the try-on portion. I'm going to take off this lip and I think that's all I have to take off. Yeah, so I'll take off this lip and then we'll get started. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and try the concealer. I do have a little bit on, but it's not very full coverage, so we'll go ahead and try this and see how this does. I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand. Just going to do just a little bit and see how far that goes. I got this in Ipsy too quite a while ago. It's the Harley Quinn Goodnight, like her um, 
baseball bat, I'm pretty sure. And it's a concealer brush, so. It's a Luxie brush, too. I haven't used it in forever. I don't hardly use it, but just for the sake of this, I'll go ahead and use it. So that, it's pretty light. a little bit more. I feel like it has decent coverage though. I just don't think I put enough on my hand. So we'll go, we'll try that this time. Oh yeah, that's much better. Being everywhere. It's going to look funny because I have on some other makeup already, so we'll try to fix that so I don't look too silly. Okay, I'm going to do the other side. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and just try this shade. I'll just do a little bit just so we can see how it looks on the eye. It's a little bit powdery, but that's not too big of a deal. Not to me anyway. It looks very pigmented. And I do have eyeliner on. I got this Kat Von D eyeliner in my Boxy Charm. So if you want to see how um, how that looks and stuff. Check out my BoxyCharm video, my BoxyCharm premium video. I'm not sure what order I'm going to upload, so, you know, make sure you're subscribed and have notifications on so you can see that too. Okay, so then let's do the jelly glaze. I'm just going to use a little Morphe concealer brush. Kind of like a lip brush. I just don't like putting it on my hands when it's that thick. Oh, so that's pretty. Oh, it smells so good. I love strawberry. So that looks really pretty. It's definitely, I mean, there's a tint. And it's not too sticky on the lips. I mean, I wouldn't say it's sticky at all. It just kind of feels like a balm. Yeah, I love that. Okay, so that, I believe, is it. What did you guys think about this? Let me know if you like the try-in portion of the video, me trying everything on, or if you just prefer the unboxing. Um, uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you'll like and subscribe. I'm sure I've said that plenty of times. <laughs> Leave me a comment. Let me know if you're still here and what you got in your bag. Did we get the same thing? Anyway, so thank you. I hope I see you in the next one. Bye.